everyone, I have fantastic news. The greens are finally done. If anybody's been following along with going along, I had to finish the apple, the um, emerald, and the autumn flame. The greens kicked my butt, I'll be honest, for a couple days. And Friday night, I got exactly the colors I want because I'm proofing the master batch that goes down to production. And this is not really a sour apple. This is more of a green apple. I think it's cleaner. You can always add a little touch of yellow if you wanted a little bit more key lime, but you can lighten this and get beautiful, beautiful sea greens with this color. Uh, Deb Wani, I believe is her name, artist that I've seen her work. She does a lot of the ocean resin scapes using like an apple green. So as soon as this color came up in the batch, I went, that's it. That's the color. That is the most beautiful color in the world. I'm going to mix it with some um, interference green so I can get a lighter value. Not the one in the cup. I'm going to actually take a little interference green and put it here in this little itty bitty tiny cup that I've got down here. So I have the option to drop that in when I want to. The other color that got finished was the Emerald City. Yeah, we're in a, a green thing tonight. This little flat uh, taster spoon holds about an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, the recommended dosage of, of color per resin is about an eighth of a teaspoon per ounce. Uh, these are holding about an ounce and a half of color in them. And this is the Autumn Flame. That is our ground metal copper. I'm trying to be careful because I always have a tendency to mix up too much of the metals like the gold. So put a little bit less in there. Let me get the tops on. I wanted you to see the beautiful powders in their jars. These will be shipping Monday and Tuesday. So the crew will be shipping out everything Monday and Tuesday. All back orders will be gone this week. We are caught up. Yes. So happy days are here again for me and hopefully for you guys. Really, really proud of how these came out. Let me see if I can get a close up in the camera on this one. It's still very bright. This may be what you were expecting, but this is a beautiful apple green. The camera's making it look a little bit more key lime than it actually is, but I find this to be quite an extraordinary color. It's now called Green Apple on the website. If you're unhappy with this at all, we'll be happy to exchange whatever it is that you want for. If you had ordered it as a sour apple, and this is not the color you were hoping for. This is the emerald. This is gonna fight with it and make you it funny thing about cameras and lighting. So this is the emerald. Really pretty color. This is the emerald city. This is the autumn flame. Now this is a ground copper metal and some other minerals. It's very metallic like the golds that we're used to using. I think you're going to be really surprised by this little baby. So there's the autumn flame. Now, I'm going to move these back on this end. Scooch out just a bit. I've got my interference here. I'm also going to play, by the way, this is a tile test. This is not a big piece. We're going to do tile tests and actually do some close-ups on the colors so you guys can see them. I have a little bit of the bling at gold. I'm just going to add a skosh to a tiny bit of clear resin I have here. And I have a little bit of the bling at blue. These are large particulate size micas. They're not the normal interferences that you might have seen that are more satin. These are real, real, real sparkly. I'm always careful to get my tops on so I don't dump them over. 
Okay, let's get a close-up mixing on those. If you can pick up how pretty and sparkly that is, that's the gold. See, the by the flakes being big, it allows the transparency of the clear to come through, and it adds special effects uh, to your paint. Whether you drop some in, or you layer a little river next to it, pretty fun. And there's the blue, okay. And then here is the interference green. It's more satin. Now if you use this straight, um, it gives you like a wispy, almost transparent effect, but very ethereal. You're going to get a wispiness, like a, a galaxy kind of feel. Because it's not quite as clear as these are. Okay, But that's that interference green. Alright, let me get my tile moved over. Get my colors off. Incidentally, for those of you that wondered how the last tile turned out, this is that uh, Blushing Lily, which is this color right here. Fantasy Fuchsia, which is this reddish violet. And then this was the Fantasy Fuchsia Mix 50-50, that light pink with Interference Violet. And I'm not, I know my phone will give you a little bit of a spark. will give you an idea just how pretty this little thing turned out. It's really gorgeous. I did just kind of plop a whole lot of the bling it right on top. I wanted to see how much it changed the colors underneath because you can get the transparency. I'm loving that little pop right there where we're getting that interference blue off of that uh, Fantasy Fuchsia. Anyway, let's play with the tiles we've got tonight. Play Ooh, those colors look nice together, the pink and the green. Okay, we'll set that aside. Let go in. Alrighty. So this is more of a tile test like I was doing a couple of weeks ago. I've been trying to do them with the videos too, but when we're, we're actually looking at a brand new color and trying to see what it looks like, especially since <laughs> it's taken a long time. First of all, of course, we were waiting an extra 14 days for Micah. Our Micah was held up for two more weeks than it should have been. But then once we got it, <laughs> I struggled for a few days to get the master batch the color that I wanted. So there's the apple green, and we just called it green apple. I changed the name, took the sour off, even though I think it's still very, very bright, very, very pretty green. Like I said, batches are done, filling and shipping Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're going to have a good week this week with these. Um, I want to see... I think on this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the copper just yet. I'm going to see, I'm real curious how that interference green and the C, and that C, I call it C green, it's really not C green, so the green apple mix. Part of me is saying I probably should have put a layer of clear next to it and then the interference. I think I did it wrong, but I do have some clear. And I have some white. Now this is the Illuminite. I wasn't necessarily looking for cells at this point. So I'm just going to put white all the way out to the edge. I know I'm kind of being soft and monochromatic, but I watched a beautiful painting by this woman, Debbie Lonnie, if I pronounced her name correctly. Shout out to her. 
That's kind of what inspired this. Like I said, when this color popped, I said that's it. Because I know if she thinned the color down with clear and other transparencies and blew it, we could get that sea green she was playing with. And it really, really excited me when I saw this. Okay, on this side, of course, if you know anybody knows me well enough, I want to play with the black. I want to see what's going to happen with a little bit of black. Always curious what the colors look like up against both uh, your white and black. I think for this, I'm also going to put a drizzle of interference, but I didn't do the clear. So I'm going to put a drizzle interference here. And I think I'm going to drop some, even though I have bling it green. I didn't mix any. I'm going to drop a little bit of the bling it blue right here so we can blow it over. Oh, wow. Look at that. You guys see that? <laughs> wow, that has an opal look. Oh, this is too much fun. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll control myself. This is too much fun. What can I say? Uh, okay, well, since we have the Emerald Forest done, it, I, this is basically the hero of this tile, but it doesn't hurt for us to see the other green up against it. So now you can see the two colors together. Oh. Now this is where I would normally be lacing gold, so I guess it, but I really wanted that foamy sea thing. So I guess I'll put the copper over here. Normally this is where you put your metallic, or when you had it, <laughs> when you're dribbling at the end. Wow. Yeah, this crown metal is a really, really, really bright orangey copper. It's not really an orange, but it just has this really interesting color to it. It's not like copper mica. I think it's going to float beautifully on that green. I'll go all black since there's all white on the other side. I'm trying to be not sloppy and be thoughtful and I think I'll put white here. What does this copper do going over the white? And then for the fun of it, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the bling it gold here. Remember, that's clear with just that blinget in it. So it should give me an interesting float. We'll see. This is just a test to see different effects, like the, the autumn flame over the white and the blinget. The, I'm going to try to push this seafoam green. It's apple green, but it might turn into a pretty seafoam, I'm hoping, when it goes over the clear the uh, <clears throat> interference green is here and the white and then of course we have the bling it blue which is doing some really kind of opaly effect down here so let's get the gun see what happens
little tips kind of interesting. So, it's funny, the Illuminati, we're getting some interesting little selling right here. I can tilt that back and spread that out a little bit. getting some, now I'm starting to get some selling in there. I was going to add some black or white to this. Don't ask me why I'm leaving this all clear over here. I just want to see that effect. I do like what's happening here. I really don't want to mess with that. But I am going to try something else. It was an experiment I did the other day. So I'm going to be dropping little droplets of the... I think I need to blow this over this way first to try this experiment. Sorry, I need a little bit more of that dark green. So some of that green around. Okay, so before I do this, I want you to see it is very sparkly. Part of it's because I added the little bling. You can see the blue bling on the bottom. And I dropped it over that one area where the green was. I am getting some very interesting lacing in this green here. This is very interesting up here. I wish I had. I'm going to do another one where I'll push the blue over the black because that came out really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to try something. Yes, it's going to look like I'm making it more blingy, but whether you add uh, the bling of colors or you add some other color, whether you get clear, this is an effect that I was playing with last night and hopefully it works again. Wow, this is wow. I've got the craziest fan all the way over this whole thing. The fan starts from here. I don't know if you can see it and goes all, wraps all the way around. Okay, so I'm start by dropping little droplets. You're getting effects like dichroic glass. I don't know if you guys know what dichroic glass is. But this is flipping amazing. 
how this happens. And see how it's different over the black and the other colors underneath it versus the three that are on top. Now, last night, the piece I did, I covered the whole thing. I was testing these colors out. I'm inclined to do the same thing down here where it's so dark and see what happens with the blue underneath it because you know there's those that blue lacing underneath it. This is the bling at gold, which is absolutely insane. Let's see what happens when I put it on top of that one little bit of blue. Now it'll keep spreading. The thing about a tile is a tile can handle only so much paint. Okay, so um, there comes a point to where I put it all over and then by the end of the night I come back and it had spread all the way out and I lost so much of it. So I don't want to go too crazy now. You can stack other colors on top. Okay, that this is the interference. I think I'm gonna stick with the transparency. This is the blue. So I'm going to put a drop of the blue in the center of each one of these I just did. Probably better if I try to do it with a syringe or something. This experiment's for you guys, really. Now you're going to start getting uh, different effects, like almost an opal. This is the bling it blue. The first drops are the bling it gold. Just a little bit, maybe a half of an eighth of a teaspoon. Not even that, in this tiny bit of resin. Okay, now you can manipulate it. You can move it around. You could probably, on a larger piece, push them back and forth. However, I don't want to lose this on the bottom. It is a little molten. So I didn't try it last night to see if they can be stretched a little bit without you losing that look of opal. See that? Absolutely incredible. Imagine having a vein of that somewhere in your piece. Okay? So this is the Illuminite Black. This is the Green Apple. Emerald Forest, a little bit of the Autumn Flame. Autumn Flame's not really the king of this piece at this point. Um, I put the Bling It Gold on this area here that had the forest green. Uh, you can see how it's pushing that apple in the middle. And, and tiles are flat, so actually I've got nothing dripping off the sides at all, which tells me I have almost the perfect amount in there. But do I push it one more layer? I'm sure you guys are probably saying yes. So I think I'm going to put, I could either put more gold on top. God, look at all the, I'm sorry, I've got to get a close up. I'm seeing it changing. It's starting to pick up the colors underneath. Maybe we need to give it a little bit of a chance to, I want to heat it. I do want to fix one little area that's kind of gotten out of its cell. Blue kind of dribbled over right here. Hopefully I can fix this. Either that or I just have to treat it as a, another one all on its own. I don't know if I can add a little gold there or put some black there. Part of me wants to just patch it with a tiny vein of black. So I've got my separation there. Okay, so uh, what I was going to start to say, if we get a close-up,
Do you see what's happening here? The blues, the violets, the greens, you get almost a little pinky red is coming through. That is starting to look like an opal right there. This still needs something to it, but it, I think it's because the green is underneath this, pushing up through the black, and you're seeing the green through the bottom of that uh, gold and blue, where on the bottom, that's just straight black with the bling of gold over the top. There was no color, actual resin art color underneath. So the resin art under color, color underneath is causing, that's crazy. I guess for consistency, I should pro probably want to put black there, but I want you to sh see that you can use the resin art color to create a big cell, to be the circle in your cell. Um, so, let me get this scooched up just a little bit. Pull this in just one more bit. I wanted you to see the close-up. This is flipping incredible. Right there. This little section looks like ovals. I don't know if I can get my phone to pick that up because it's probably going to look way too sparkly on the camera. With that flashlight. Oh, come on, flashlight. Yeah, I figured you're going to see more sparkle and dazzle than what the opalescent effect that I'm getting. Okay, well, to push the envelope a little bit more for you guys, you're probably going to say, no, would this be a cool effect on part of the painting once you've got your stuff blown around and you know maybe you have a, a a key feature area where you really want to feature a certain color or a key pattern that's coming down that's real creative to you hey you can create it yourself okay you can go into an area that may be a little bit of boring but you love the color and go in and create some custom beautiful cells all on your own I don't know, since I've already got the gold made up, I was on the fence whether I should do a red. I'm just going to take a chance here. Even though I'd love to see some other color in that blue. See if I've got enough. I don't know if I have enough gold mixed up to make all those dots. Here, let me pour a little bit more off. I'll mix up some real quick. Get my little, uh, is this the gold? This is the red, you know what? That's fate, I'm gonna grab the red. So this is a little bling at red. I'm gonna put it on top of the one that had some gold in it. There's not much gold left. So this is a red gold combination I just mixed up. We can experiment on this. Woohoo! See how far we could push this. This part's really reading opals, beautiful opals. Okay. This is one I just did. Yeah, I can see the red ever so gently. It's more for down here to add a little bit of extra something to this. You don't have to move it around much because the resin's going to settle out all on its own. I just want it to feel like it's sort of centered in this. Oops, I shouldn't have combed that. I just need to drop it. Just trying to drop it. Not trying to manipulate it. I want the resin to do what it's supposed to do. I may have to warm that. 
not that it's seizing up, but it's it's recognizing that oops, I'm trying to manipulate it too much. See, I've got black on the end of that stick. I'm gonna pull that up right now. Let me just warm that ever so slightly. Okay, these are beautiful. I don't know any other way to put it. Um, I have reached my limit because now there's resin going over the side. So we put enough on there. I told you, tiles are unforgiving because they're made out of like ceramic glass. But there you have it, folks. This is your, I'll mix, I promise I'll pour this off on something. This is the Emerald City. This is the green apple, right? Oh, you know what? I will do another, I will do a cookie. We got time. I just realized the autumn flame really did not get uh, the attention that it deserved. And I'm gonna do my very best to sit this on another tile right to the side. I don't want it off camera too much. It's right to the right of me. side dude you want to stay just like that okay so let's actually show you how beautiful this copper is this is the emerald I made up enough resin for three tiles this is the copper Guys need to see the close-up on that. You have got to see these colors. Whether I blow them around or not, this is what they look like. See how pretty that emerald is? And that's the autumn flame. Now remember, autumn flame is made out of, I'm not sure if I told you, out of ground metal. It's already going over the side on this one in. <laughs> okay. Just so we have a little balance, I will add some of the green apple. You see that there's a different color in them. I am going to add a little black. Oops, I didn't mean to do it like that, but. some white on our edges here. That way the black is simply an accent color in the center. Ha -ha. Okay, so let me warm this up. Let's see what happens.
Well, that's interesting. That's the Illuminite. Blown on top of our colors in beautiful ways. I'm digging that, baby. that that effect anyway that it blew over so nicely that white looks a little stark there but I like the effect that we got so I'm inclined to pour in a little apple green as I can There we go, sort of. Still looks a little bright in that corner compared to all the black that we had. <laughs> oh my gosh, though, but I'm low. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm okay doing this. You should see what we're getting. Beautiful copper cells. Oh, hang on. Okay. I'm, 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 maybe this one's not going to give us as much as this will. Do you see what that autumn flame's doing? That is stunning. Now, of course, it's going to be sparkly, no doubt, because it's ground metal. Okay? But the selling, that is just gorgeous. And this is the aluminite creating all that lacing. I'm really, really happy with how that autumn flame turned out. Okay, so if you're curious about the other piece, wondering if it's changed, okay. Now I can do the same effects on this if you like. I can pick an area, like for example, this black area, even though all this is pretty, might be a little bit boring. And take, this is, by the way, this is that red gold combo. I'm gonna do try to two tiny little pebble drops. They're not as easy to do. Be real careful. And then live with what happens. You have to let go a little bit, guys. That's a hard thing for me. I, I have a tendency to always want to control my paint. I mean, I manipulate the color, so why can't I control it when it's on a piece? It's, it's a different thing from being a professional colorist, which is my job, and an artist, which is a passion. Ooh, but I'm getting some interesting little... So I'll continue this up. In between, I'm going to see what happens when it drops on between the copper and the green. Oops, now that got a little sloppy. i got to get careful again. Get careful, Leslie. You just want to drop. I don't know if I can scoop those up or incorporate them. I have a little spoon here, a little clean spoon. That sort of fixes it, but not really. Kind of have to live with what's going to happen. Wow, that one turned big. And that was just not as much as you'd think. I like dropping it on where the black is. It spreads the black out and it really hugs that color so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put the blue on like I did before. See what's happening though, that red? 
and then it's picking up a little bit of the green underneath and it's changing like opals. This was an accident last night. I was just kind of playing on camera with a friend. We were both on my FaceTime phone. And she kind of blurted out, don't show anybody that. And I said, well, but I want to sell the paint. She thought this technique was so cool. It's one of those things that, you know, artists should keep them themselves, but... I suspect we're going to start seeing lots of videos with this. Maybe, maybe not. But that means people are getting my bling it to do it. Bling it blue, bring it, bling it red, bling it gold. That's what I've used so far. There's also a violet and a green. Very special mineral that's large and sparkly, almost like glitter, but it's not. It's very elegant because it's actually a mineral. And it creates so much bling, for a better lack of words. I'm digging this. Wow. Okay, last one. We're forming little amoebas now. Very, very, very cool effects. Just going to give that a few more minutes there in the camera for you guys so you can see it. I'm at my max of what I can put on with the resin. Now this is going to set up like this. This is going to dry like this. This is probably as far as it's going to go. Okay? So, recapping. Gold, blue, a little bit of the bling at red in the middle. This was the gold, blue, and I only put the red, I think, in one end here because there was so much other color coming from up underneath, I didn't need it. Um, so there's your close-up of that one. And then this is the one we just did, still spreading out. But you can see what happens when you just leave it alone. Oh my gosh, look what's happening. Those beautiful green rings around those little amoebas or whatever, or pebbles or cells we're creating. <laughs> anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And I will see you next time. And remember, the green apple, the emerald city, the autumn flame are done. All colors will be ready on Monday and we'll be packing on Monday and Tuesday. All orders are leaving. We are finally caught up. Thank you for joining me and have a good night. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.